Whoopie de scoop. Scoop de de whoop. Whoop de scoop de poop. Hi there, how's it going? So today, and probably from here till maybe when I change my camera, I have a bit of an issue with my camera. The display has stopped working, so I'm having to look through the viewfinder in order to see what is in focus. Anyway, we're going to be using the laser engraver on a few more items. So right here we have a couple of the objects that I tried engraving in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I did say tried just then. Uh, obviously it did work, so I don't know why I said tried. Anyway, if you haven't seen that video yet, check it out. I won't give you any more spoilers. Okay, so over the past couple of days, I've managed to get my hot my hole okay so over the past couple of days i've managed to get my hands on a few other items to test out on this laser engraver or test the laser engraver out on hopefully they should be good you know what one of them is and that is the lighter if you just come for that then you might as well go to the end of the video because that is where that will be i'm not going to do that first because if that blows up and destroys everything then well i'm not going to be able to engrave anything else once again you can use this bar at the bottom here to skip to whichever point in the video you want to go to or you could just maybe sit back and um, relax and enjoy the video Okay, so once again, this right here is the laser engraver, and that's right there at the top of the screen is my keyboard. So let me give you another angle on this laser engraver. What I'll do right now is just flip it onto its back. So check it out, that right there is the laser, and it's attached to this pulley system. Um, so it's kind of like a printer, and there's a little fan at the top right there. It does get quite warm as well, which is what these lasers tend to do. So yeah, that's all it is. Okay, so basically how this works is, what I've done is I've gone around my house to look for things that I can use a laser on. Now, in the product description for the laser, it says you can use it on card, plastic, paper, and um, some other... Oh, wood, wood. So uh, there's not a lot of items that they say that you can use it on. It's mainly soft items and, well, I'm looking for other things I can use it on. I've got a few things and we'll go through them one by one. Okay, so the first item we have here is this stuff. This you can probably find in most offices. It goes by the name Blue Tack. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take off a little piece of this. We don't need to use all of it. I think about that much should do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it into a little ball like this and then I'll flatten it out and I'll try to print out a little face. Okay, so I think that is about as flat as it's gonna get. And what I'll do now is bring this forward and I'll put this about here somewhere. So now I'll load up the software for the laser after I plug it in. All right, so right here we have the software for it and I'm just gonna drag this image into here. So I'll choose one of these. Usually if the picture you drag in is in color, the one on the right here will be grayscale and then this one will just be black and white. So what I'm gonna do is choose this one and I'll probably have to shrink the image a little bit. So let's make it a bit smaller. And then what you do is you send the image to the machine and then you can kind of figure out whereabouts it will fit. So I'm gonna to have to shrink this a little bit more and then move the laser over to the right a little bit and then up a little bit to get it a little more centered. So I'm gonna shrink this a bit more now and then resend it to the machine. So we're getting a bit closer. I'll shrink it a little bit more and that should be about it. Okay, so I think that's about good enough. Now I need to grab these glasses that came with a laser. Check out the mystery box video to find out more about this laser and the software. So glasses are on and now, and now I'm focusing the point of the laser until it's nice and then I'll recenter it to make sure everything is fine. Looks good enough. Now what I'll do is I'll turn the burn time down from 55, which is what I used on the last object in the previous video, to about 25. And I should really open a window now, but um, I think I'll probably... I, th I think I'll survive. So uh, let's just press start and see how it turns out. Okay, well that's completed, but it's not done anything. Anyway, now that you know what I have to do in the software to get it to work, I'm gonna be doing this with the other objects that I'm trying the laser on. So let's move on to the next item. Okay, so up next we have these guys. And these are known as Orbeez. I'm not too sure what other names they go by, but that is the name I'm gonna be using. Now, I've got a whole bunch of them over here, but we are just gonna be using these. 
Okay, so for the container that these RBs are in, I'm gonna to need to put down some grip. And this right here is a silicon mat, which will provide the grip that we need. So that's gonna go there like that. And then these are gonna go on top of my head. I mean, over here on the mat. And you can see that laser shining in one of the RBs right there. Now it's gonna be a little difficult trying to focus the laser. I'll put this there just to focus the laser on first before actually doing this. Now I'll focus the laser to get it nice and sharp. I need the glasses. Okay, so that's about as sharp as it's gonna get. Now I'll put the thing back in there and we can continue. Okay, so where was it? It was about, um... Okay, so I think that should be about good enough. And now let's see whereabouts this is gonna print. Okay, so this time I'm gonna turn the burning up to 70 and let's press start and see what happens. Okay, so unsurprisingly, not much happened with these. But I did see the laser bouncing off of these walls a few times, which is kind of funky looking. Luckily, I'm sat behind the camera, so none of it got me. Okay, so I'm guessing these right here are a little too clear, a little too light for the laser to actually penetrate or leave any engraving marks on. So what I have here are some slightly darker Diet Coke Orbeez. So I'm gonna put these up my, I mean, onto here like that. And you can actually see the laser beam going through that one. So this might have a different result, which will be nice. I think I'll probably leave it there. That seems to be about center. So what I'll do now is let's just have a quick check of where the laser is gonna be. And that was totally not center. So let me just move that again. Okay, much better. Now what I'll do is I'll leave the burning time set to 70 and we'll just start and see what happens. Okay, so I've just paused this for a second. Every now and then I can actually hear some sizzling. So what I'll do now is I'll probably just try to refocus the laser a little bit because I have a feeling that it might be slightly off. So this time what I'll do is I'll use this piece of wood because that seems to be about the height the orbies are at. And refocus. Okay, so I think I've got it right. What I'll do is I'll add a few more orbies to this. Okay, so now we've got a double layer. This time what I'll do is I'll turn the burning up to 100 and we'll start again. Wow, there's really not much going on. Okay, so last attempt with the focus. And there we go. And now let's press start again and then move on to the next object. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear that, but if you listen carefully, you can hear these guys laughing. Okay, so right here I have some insulation tape. And what we have here is an outline of my channel's name. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put this piece of wood under the laser with this over the top of it. And I'm gonna place that around here and we'll see whereabouts this text will come. Okay, so the text actually seems quite small, but it should be fine. So let's just start this and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna turn the burning time down to about 30 and start. Looks like it's done a decent job. Okay, so this time I'm doing it with a burn time of 80 and I've refocused the laser slightly. When I have a look and see whereabouts the words are about to fall, you can see smoke. Okay, so let's start engraving and see what the difference is. Okay, so now that's done, let's take a closer look and see how bad we failed. Well, I'm not gonna deny that it looks good, but there's no way those letters are gonna stay on the wood. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm gonna make sure these letters stick, and then I'm gonna peel this up. So I'm gonna slowly peel this off, and... Nope. Okay, so the next thing we have is this. And this is what it looks like on the inside, so... 
This stuff, you can take it out, you can um, squeeze it, you can stretch it, you can shove it up your ass. It changes color, you can put it on the water, it's a good stress reliever, and that is about it. So we're gonna see what happens with this when I put it under the laser. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna put this under here. I think that should do. And I'm gonna focus the laser. And this time what I'll do is I'll set the burning time to 20, and we'll see what happens when I try to engrave the smiley face that we tried earlier. Okay, so I stopped this a little earlier than normal. All it really did was burn the top. On to the final object, and this is the one that you've all been waiting for. And here it is. This is the lighter I'm gonna be engraving. So just to show you that it still has lighter fluid inside of it, it works. Let's put it under the laser and see what happens. Okay, so once again, so you know I'm not faking anything. And we'll put that right Right about there, I think. Maybe turn it around this way. I think that's probably better. Okay, so what I've done is I've got a bunch of dashes inserted into the software and I'm gonna send those to the machine right now. I'll move the lighter down a little bit more, maybe to the side a little bit. And now what I'll do is I'll focus the laser, make sure it's nice and fine. And now we will start. So I'm gonna stand back just in case. I'm gonna set the burning time to around 80, 85, okay and start. Okay, so it's complete, and I actually had my ears covered with my fingers. Okay, just to show you I'm not a little biatch, what I've got now is a permanent marker. And obviously this lighter is kind of see-through, so making it black like this will help the laser engrave. So this will be the second attempt, and this time I'm gonna turn up the power to 100. Okay, so let's have a look and see whereabouts it's going to engrave. Perfect. Uh, this time, I'm going to walk out of the room until it's done. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's done. Um, no explosions. I actually went down and gave the cat some treats. So uh, let's take a closer look at this then. Okay, so as you can see, those are the dashes and the lighter is still intact. So I really don't know what to say apart from, I'll see you next time.